Hi, my name is Mary Jago. I'm the clinical manager for the Child, Youth and Family Mental Health Program. Welcome to Moving Day on our new Child and Adolescent Mental Health Program. Why don't you join me on a tour of our new unit? We're going to walk through a locked door into our self-contained unit. On our unit, we have up to 400 kids a year come through, and we have children from the age of four up until their 18th birthday. I'd like to welcome you to our Rainbow District School Board classroom. This is a space self-contained on the unit where the Rainbow District School Board provides education for children from all different school boards who come into our program. It's a nice, bright, welcoming space for education. If you'd like to join me down here, I'll take you through to the main part of our unit. So this is our lounge. This is the space where the kids and families can come in, take some time to relax and enjoy themselves. So come on through. So welcome into our lounge area. This is a place where children and their families can come in, sit and relax, as well as children being able to come in, watch some television, read books, hang out, and sit with the staff as well to run any kinds of groups that they want to be doing. Here you'll notice there's a photo of what our unit used to look like, and this was before what our lounge area looked like. If you want to walk through, we'll go into the main part of the unit. This is our Vice President, Maureen McClelland, who was uh, really instrumental in the development of the kids' unit. So thank you for that, Maureen. Welcome to camp. Great. So come on down. This nice, big, bright space. You'll notice here we have our care station. The care station has windows on all sides. And if you want to come through here, these are our new bedroom areas. All of the children have a closet on the outside where all their personal belongings can be kept, where it's kept locked, safe, and private. If we come down through here, here is an example of one of our new bedrooms. The rooms are nice and bright. They all have big windows to the outside. And you'll notice here that the nursing station has access to all of the rooms. Not only can the staff see the children, but the children know that the staff is there to be able to support them at all times. If you want to come with me down this way, we have some, we ha now have two washrooms and shower rooms on the unit. Prior to this, we only had one. You can imagine having six teenagers shower at the same time. This is our therapeutic room. This is one of the spaces that we used to use for our therapy room, and now we have this self-contained space. So when you come into this space, it's very quiet. In this room, um, we'll be able to interview the young people, we'll be able to run groups, do mindfulness-based work, and any kind of um, relaxation groups and yoga in this space, as well as art. It's a very quiet, calm space for the kids to come in and be part of. So I'll take you now through to the care desk. Here's Carol Ann, one of our nurses who works here and manages the unit with all of the children. Come on through to our care station. So we have a lot of space here. We have our clinical leader, Mark, who is in charge of running the day-to-day -day operations of the unit. We have lots of space here for all of our staff. And back here we have a medication room self-contained on the unit. And so that's it. We're really pleased to be in this new unit and we want to thank the hospital and the community for all the support in being able to help kids and their families be well. Thank you.